from winning two world championships to completing the race after his car flew into the air and sustained considerable damage. Fernando Alonso has done it all, and now he's ready for a new challenge. He's ready to win with Aston Martin. This is quite surprising, isn't it? Cause let's not forget that Aston Martin is actually not as good as the team he drove with in 2022, Alpine. In fact, in the Constructors' Cup, Aston Martin stood seventh, which is basically the bottom of the midfield. It only finished a place above Haas. On the other hand, Alpine finished fourth, which is the top of the midfield. So how does he really plan to win? Well, for starters, the car. Dominic Toretto once said, the only thing that matters is who is behind the wheel. Yeah, um, that's not how it works in Formula One. You could put Max Verstappen in a Williams and I promise you there's no freaking way he's winning the championship. He might be able to drive better than Alex Albon, but he still won't win. And the car is exactly why Fernando Alonso has hope. First of all, its power unit comes from Mercedes. Mercedes makes fast and reliable engines, unlike Renault. In fact, getting rid of Renault is what began this era of success for Red Bull anyway. So Aston Martin has a decent engine that's not going to break down in the middle of the track or catch on fire, like a Renault engine. Also, folks at Renault, please don't sue me, I'm only spinning facts. Anyway, Aston Martin has just released its car and it looks good. Is it fast? Well, that's something we won't know till preseason testing, of course. But the team claims that it's going to have significant improvement over the 2022 car. So there's that hope. But Alonso isn't exactly expecting to start winning right away. Alonso stated that there's a possibility that he's eventually going to win his third title with the team. However, here's another thing he stated. I don't think this year. I'm honest on that. I cannot say to anyone we'll be fighting for victories this year. So while he's not expecting to win right away, he is expecting to eventually start winning. But like, the guy's freaking 41 years old. How long does he intend to stay with the team, really? Also, if you're an Aston Martin fan and you've lost all hope because Alonso said not this year, then don't worry. He still thinks that the start with the team will be good. We'll have to wait and see how good, but he's optimistic. He even stated that if the team has a good baseline in 2023, then it'll have an opportunity opportunity to fight for wins and podiums in 2024 when his contract ends with the team. But seriously, Aston Martin really is working on winning. The team is tired of being in the midfield, cause even then, they're at the bottom of it. So they've started an ambitious project to start winning again. Heading into his 20th season, the veteran stated that this project has a lot to prove. Ready, focus and, uh, and change your driving style a little bit, depending which track and which discipline you are going. But uh, at the end of the day, he's just competing. No, and, uh, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> I'm impressed not. you know what chili bowl is. I, I'm, I'm, I have some, some uh, interest in some racing. But the tire to use, uh, so it was a very good call for the team. After the free practice, we identified that the, the hard tire was working for our car. So yeah, we make very aggressive. And that he has high hopes. He even acknowledged that his time behind the wheel is limited, but he's going to try and help the team as much as he can during his time there. Cause here's the thing about Aston Martin. Rome wasn't built in a day and Aston Martin won't be fixed overnight. The team is in the middle of a restructuring process started by the new owner, Lawrence Stroll. Lawrence is a Canadian billionaire who looks like a Bond villain, by the way, who bought the team in 2020 to turn them into world champions. And why wouldn't he want that? Because alongside Alonso, Lawrence's son Lance will also be driving for the team. Anyway, Lawrence really is taking the team in the right direction, and he really did make a lot of positive changes. First of all, he's doubled the workforce. Initially, the team, which was called Force India, had 400 workers. With Lawrence at the helm, the workforce increased to 800. The guy even spent millions upon millions on a state-of-the-art factory. Seriously, Seriously, it's awesome, cause the new factory has a new wind tunnel, and it has recruited big name engineers from front running teams. It even got its technical director and his deputy from Red Bull and Mercedes. But these changes weren't enough in 2022. With so much money and effort poured in, the team really couldn't do much in 2022. In fact, Aston Martin started the season with the second slowest car on the grid. While the team's car did improve throughout, it missed out on a six 
sixth place in the Constructors' Cup. Lance Stroll, Alonso's new teammate, stated that the goal is to consistently fight for points each weekend while targeting a podium now and then. But at the same time, Alonso has a whole different ideology. He stated that the team shouldn't be happy with fourth, third, or even second. The only time the team should be happy is with first. Yet, Alonso doesn't want to set unrealistic expectations. Cause in 2022, Red Bull and Max were so freaking good that only three teams, Red Bull via Perez, Ferrari, and Mercedes, were able to be on the same lap as the race leader. Everyone else was literally a whole lap behind. And in Formula One, these kinds of gaps are extremely difficult to overcome in just two or three months. So because of this, Alonso just wants to enjoy the season, stay consistent, make sure the car stays reliable, and help the team grow. But the road to a decent 2023 won't be easy. No matter how good Alonso is, and no matter how experienced he is, there's no way he'll be able to get settled into the car right away. That's just not something you can do easily with Formula One. And the two-time world champion knows this. He talked about how with Alpine, he really struggled a lot in the first five to six races. And this year, there's only one and a half days worth of testing anyway. So it's not going to be easy for the guy to just get in and start winning races. But hey, here's an interesting tidbit. Did you ever wonder why Alonso left Alpine? He didn't leave because of politics or whatever. I think we have to be open and, uh, and treat this weekend like a normal weekend, not focusing too much on Alpha Tauri. I think that will About eventually the... be coming back. But uh, yeah, the, the door is not closed. I think um, or, or the first reason is because I, I don't know how I will feel. Alonso actually left because he was fully convinced by the potential of Aston Martin. The Spaniard has specifically stated that he trusts this project, and he knows that Lawrence Stoll will be able to achieve what he set out to achieve. Because here's the thing about Alonso, he's very demanding. He always gives his 110%, but he expects the same from everyone else as well. And when the 41-year-old walked into Aston Martin, he said that he felt that these people have the same values as him. Alonso even cited Lawrence's success in all his other ventures, stating that he will succeed sooner or later in Formula One as well. And while all of that really does reassure us that Aston has a great season ahead, there's another thing to look forward to. So in July, Alonso will be turning 42, yet he's slimmer than last season. And in his own words, he's fitter than ever, since this winter wasn't disrupted like the last two winters. Because before returning in 2021, he broke his jaw while cycling, and he couldn't move for three weeks. And then, the winter before 2022, he had to get the plates removed, and that really messed up with his fitness as well. But this time around, he was able to prepare for the season perfectly. So yeah, folks, Alonso's convinced he's gonna win with Aston Martin. Do you guys think that this will actually happen?